It's my birthday and I'll carve if I want to, carve if I want to. Okay, sorry about that. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Um, I've been having some fun. I finally got back into the shop after a little bit of a vacation. So we are getting a few things done. Uh, this last week I put a video out on how to cut on an angle. Um, you're, you're fairly used to cutting vertically with the saw up and down, but what if you have to turn the, the saw and, and cut at an odd angle? It feels odd and it makes weird things happen. Um, so what are some of the things that happen when you do that and how to counter them? Kind of a fun video, a lot of good response for that. And uh, yeah, a good good video all around. The second one was actually remaking the frame saw. And um, you may have seen the, the saw hanging over here where this one will go back to. Um, but my last one was made of poplar. Uh, worked great, except for I dropped it and I broke out a piece on the handle. And I've been wanting to make a new one for a while. So I finally got the chance to remake it, this time out of white oak. And I am in love with this thing. Um, yeah, very, very pleased. So I'm going to be using this quite a bit. I'm going to be doing some resawing, um, cutting out the bottoms for the drawers on the dresser. And uh, you'll see this in several videos coming up soon. So videos for this next week. Um, number one on Thursday, I'm actually going to be doing a small chip carving. Um, this is kind of my first foray into um, sculptural carving and just kind of making a, a general shape and image. And so this is actually a gift for my wife on Valentine's Day today. Um, and so I just gave it to her so you uh, get to see it now. <laughs> but this will be coming out Thursday and it'll be the, uh, the first time I've actually, well, not the first time, but one of the few times I've rolled out my uh, tool roll and had a few things in it. And this is a, a good way to get to know a, quite a, di a few different tools to accomplish the task. Really fun project and I am very pleased with how it came out. Second video for the week, if I can get it done, will be uh, this small um, seat bench. Um, I'm trying to work through a few things and the plywood I was going to use to face it uh, is not, uh, wouldn't hold the bend well. And I'm trying to come up with a way of either bending Luan to fit it or finding a plywood that can work with it. Uh, so if any of you have any ideas on that, let me know. Otherwise, I'm trying to use this uh, slatted uh, column surface. I don't know exactly how well it will come out though, but we'll see how it works. Tomorrow, February the 15th, I will be doing a live Q&A here on the channel. It'll be at noon um, central time, so you can calculate off of that. I'm doing it a different time every time I do it, but this month it'll be at noon. Uh, next month, I think I'm going to do it on the weekend, so I hope you look forward to that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll add those to the list of uh, questions to add to the, uh, the Q&A. For the Crafted Podcast, tomorrow's episode is actually going to have a guest speaker. Uh, that will actually be William Walker from the William Walker Company channel. I really love his stuff and it's a great time. Um, so feel free to go check out that. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, speaking of the podcast, we are going to be doing a meetup on April the 2nd in Asheville, North Carolina. I will leave a link with more information and a place where you can sign up for it in the description below. We're actually gonna meet at a local hardware store, um, all three of us, uh, Johnny, Zach, and myself, so you can uh, come hang out with the entire podcast group. Uh, we will We'll also all be at the uh, woodworking shows in Atlanta, and I'm looking forward to that. So, woohoo, lots of fun things coming up. Speaking of Hangouts, um, actually the most recent goal for Patreon has been to set up a mass Hangout for everyone on Patreon. So once every three months, I'm going to do a large Hangout so that all of the patrons on Patreon can join and chat and just have a face-to-face -face conversation. And I'm really looking forward to that. The, uh, the first one of those is coming up here soon. I don't know exactly when, um, but if you want to find out more about that, you can uh, go to Patreon and uh, you'll see a link for that in the description below. The Patreon question of the week comes from Doc Darkness, and he asks, how do you take out large chunks of wood from a large piece of wood without a bandsaw? It seems like a lot of work. And the answer to that, in the hand tool world, a bandsaw is called a turning saw. Um, and in this case, I actually have a bandsaw blade in it. I did a video a while ago on making this, uh, but this can do anything a bandsaw will do. Do it a little bit slower, um, but is a lot more fun to use. Uh, if you need more delicate things, there are other ways of doing it. 
Um, on things like this, I actually just used a relief cut. I did this also for the bandsaw recently, where I put in relief cuts and then used a chisel to take out the waste. And you can remove a lot of material very, very quickly with a chisel. Um, you don't get to save the material, whereas with this, you get large chunks that you would take off just like a bandsaw. So I hope that answers your question. The shout out for this week goes to Vasilis Pompadompoulos. I'm sorry, I'm completely butchering your name there, uh, but he recently did a video on hiding a screw. Uh, now, I don't use a whole lot of screws in what I do, but occasionally I want to hide it. And you know, it's just a, it's a quick and cheap way of doing joinery. And uh, he has a fantastic method for doing that. Just taking a chisel, taking off a top layer, putting a screw in underneath it, and then putting that chip from the layer you took off back on it. Um, I won't say much more other than uh, go check out his video. I'll leave a link to it in the cards up here in the description below. Uh, really cool channel, a lot of interesting things, and I know you're going to like it. So that's about it for this week. I hope you have enjoyed it. I've got a lot of fun projects coming up. Hoping to be hitting the dresser uh, big time this next week. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. You know how that runs about. Um, if you do have any questions for the, uh, for the live Q&A, go ahead and leave those in the description below and I will add them to the list. If you did like this video, hit that like button and feel free to share this with your friends. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and join the group. I want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason this channel is running and I'm really looking forward to doing the next monthly giveaway. If you'd like to find out more about that, you can click the link over here. Also, feel free to check out one of my other videos. Videos. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.